And when the mother recognized that the garment of darkness was imperfect, then she knew that her consort had not agreed with her. She repented with much weeping. And the whole Pleroma heard the prayer of her repentance, and they praised on her behalf the invisible, virginal spirit. And he consented, and when the invisible spirit had consented, the Holy Spirit poured over her from their whole Pleroma. For it was not her consort who came to her, but he came to her through the Pleroma in order that he might correct her deficiency. And she was taken up not to her own eon but above her son, that she might be in the ninth until she has corrected her deficiency. And a voice came forth from the exalted eon heaven, The man exists and the son of man. And the chief archon, Yaltabath, heard it, and thought that the voice had come from his mother. And he did not know from where it came. And he taught them, the holy and perfect mother-father, the complete foreknowledge, the image of the invisible one who is the father of the all, and through whom everything came into being, the first man. For he revealed his likeness in a human form. And the whole eon of the chief archon trembled, and the foundations of the abyss shook. And of the waters which are above matter, the underside was illuminated by the appearance of his image which had been revealed. And when all the authorities and the chief archon looked, they saw the whole region of the underside which was illuminated. And through the light they saw the form of the image in the water. And he said to the authorities which attend him, Come, let us create a man according to the image of God and according to our likeness, that his image may become a light for us. And they created by means of their respective powers in correspondence with the characteristics which were given. And each authority supplied a characteristic in the form of the image which he had seen in its natural, form. He created a being according to the likeness of the first, perfect man. And they said, Let us call him Adam, that his name may become a power of light for us. And the powers began. The first one, goodness, created a bone soul. And the second, foreknowledge, created a sinew soul. The third, divinity, created a flesh soul. And the fourth, the lordship, created a marrow soul. The fifth, kingdom created a blood soul. The sixth, envy, created a skin soul. The seventh, understanding, created a hair soul. And the multitude of the angels attended him and they received from the powers the seven substances of the natural, form, in order to create the proportions of the limbs and the proportion of the rump and the proper working together of each of the parts. The first one began to create the head. Eteraphaope Abron created his head. Menigistroth created the brain. Asterichmi, created, the right eye. Thaspomoka, the left eye. Yerinumos, the right ear. Basum, the left ear. Akurim, the nose. Bain and Ephraim, the lips. Amen, the teeth. Ebikin, the molars. Basiliadome, the tonsils. Acha, the uvula. Adaben, the neck. Chaman, the vertebrae. Dircho, the throat. Tebar, the right shoulder. The left shoulder. Maniarkon, the right elbow. The left elbow. Abitreon, the right underarm. Avandhan, the left underarm. Chris, the right hand. Baluai, the left hand. Treneu, the fingers of the right hand. Balbal, the fingers of the left hand. Crimen, the nails of the hands. Astrips, the right breast. Barof, the left breast. Baum, the right shoulder joint. Ararim, the left shoulder joint. Aresh, the belly. Thave, the navel. Senephim, the abdomen. Arashithopi, the right ribs. Sebado, the left ribs. Barius, the right hip. Penalth, the left hip. Abenlenarche, the marrow. Shnumenonorin, the bones. Gazole, the stomach. Agromauna, the heart. Bano, the lungs. Sostrapal, the liver. Anesimilar, the spleen. Thokithro, the intestines. Biblo, the kidneys. Roarer, the sinews. Tafrio, the spine of the body. Ipouespoboba, the veins. Binaborin, the arteries. Atoimensife, theirs are the breaths which are in all the limbs. Entalea, all the flesh. Beduk, the right buttock, Arabii, the left penis. Ilo, the testicles. Sorma, the genitals. Gorma Kayaklabar, the right thigh. Nabrith, the left thigh. Suram, the kidneys of the right leg. Asaklas, 
the left kidney, Ormote, the right leg, Eminen, the left leg, Nix, the right shin bone, Tupalon, the left shin bone, Achiel, the right knee, Thanin, the left knee, Futhram, the right foot, Boabel, its toes, Trachun, the left foot, Finna, its toes, Miamai, the nails of the feet, Labernium, and those who were appointed over all of these are, Sathoth, Armas, Kalila, Jabal, Sabaut, Cain, Abel. And those who are particularly active in the limbs, are, the head Dialimodraza, the neck Yamax, the right shoulder Yaquib, the left shoulder Verdon, the right hand Odidi, the left one Arbao, the fingers of the right hand Lampno, the fingers of the left hand Likafar, the right breast Barber, the left breast Ime the chest Pisandriaptes, the right shoulder joint Coade, the left shoulder joint Odior, the right ribs Asphyxix, the left ribs Sinagchauta, the belly Aruf, the womb Sabalo, the right thigh Charcharb, the left thigh Theon, all the genitals Bathanoth, the right leg Shu, the left leg Charcha, the right shin bone Aroer, the left shin bone Tochtha, the right knee Aeol, the left knee Sharanar, the right foot Bastin, its toes Archentekta, the left foot Marifnaunth, its toes Abrana. Seven have power over all of these, Michael, Oriel, Asmenidas, Sephisatol, Armorium, Richram, Amiorps. And the ones who are in charge over the senses, are, Archendecta, and he who is in charge over the receptions, is, Diterbathas, and he who is in charge over the imagination, is, Uma and he who is over the composition Achiaram, and he who is over the whole impulse Riaram Nacho. And the origin of the demons which are in the whole body is determined to be four, heat, cold, wetness, and dryness. And the mother of all of them is matter. And he who reigns over the heat, is, Phloxafa, and he who reigns over the cold is Oruorathos, and he who reigns over what is dry, is, Aramacho, and he who reigns over the wetness, is, Athoro. And the mother of all of these, Onorthocrisi, stands in their midst, since she is illimitable, and she mixes with all of them. And she is truly matter, for they are nourished by her. The four chief demons are, Athememphi, who belongs to pleasure, Yoko, who belongs to desire, Nenantophni, who belongs to grief, Blaoman, who belongs to fear. And the mother of them all is Asthesis Auch Epito. And from the four demons passions came forth. And from grief, came, envy, jealousy, distress, trouble, pain, callousness, anxiety, mourning, etc. And from pleasure much wickedness arises, and empty pride, and similar things. And from desire, comes, anger, wrath, and bitterness, and bitter passion, and unsatedness, and similar things. And from fear, comes, dread, fawning, agony, and shame. All of these are like useful things as well as evil things. But the insight into their true, character, is Anaro, who is the head of the material soul, for it belongs with the seven senses, ouch epito. This is the number of the angels, together they are 365. They all worked on it until, limb for limb, the natural and the material body was completed by them. Now there are other ones in charge over the remaining passions whom I did not mention to you. But if you wish to know them, it is written in the book of Zoroaster. And all the angels and demons worked until they had constructed the natural body. And their product was completely inactive and motionless for a long time. And when the mother wanted to retrieve the power which she had given to the chief archon, she petitioned the mother father of the all, who is most merciful. He sent, by means of the holy decree, the five lights down upon the place of the angels of the chief archon. They advised him that they should bring forth the power of the mother. And they said to Yaltabath, Blow into his face something of your spirit and his body will arise. And he blew into his face the spirit which is the power of his mother. He did not know, this, for he exists in ignorance. And the power of the mother went out of Yaltabath into the natural body, which they had fashioned after the image of the one who exists from the beginning. The body moved and gained strength, and it was luminous. And in that moment the rest of the powers became jealous, 
because he had come into being through all of them and they had given their power to the man. And his intelligence was greater than that of those who had made him, and greater than that of the chief archon. And when they recognized that he was luminous, and that he could think better than they, and that he was free from wickedness, they took him and threw him into the lowest region of all matter. But the Blessed One, the Mother Father, the Beneficent and Merciful One, had mercy on the power of the mother which had been brought forth out of the chief archon, for they, the archons, might gain power over the natural and perceptible body. And he sent, through his beneficent spirit and his great mercy, a helper to Adam, luminous epinoia which comes out of him, who is called life. And she assists the whole creature, by toiling with him and by restoring him to his fullness and by teaching him about the descent of his seed, and, by teaching him about the way of ascent, which is, the way he came down. And the luminous epinoia was hidden in Adam, in order that the archons might not know her, but that the epinoia might be a correction of the deficiency of the mother. And the man came forth because of the shadow of the light which is in him. And his thinking was superior to all those who had made him. When they looked up, they saw that his thinking was superior. And they took counsel with the whole array of archons and angels. They took fire and earth and water and mixed them together with the four fiery winds. And they wrought them together and caused a great disturbance. And they brought him, Adam, into the shadow of death, in order that they might form, him, again from earth and water and fire and the spirit which originates in matter, which is the ignorance of darkness and desire, and their counterfeit spirit. This is the tomb of the newly formed body with which the robbers had clothed the man, the bond of forgetfulness and he became a mortal man. This is the first one who came down, and the first separation. But the epinoia of the light which was in him, she is the one who was to awaken his thinking. And the archons took him and placed him in paradise. And they said to him, Eat, that is at leisure, for their luxury is bitter and their beauty is depraved. And their luxury is deception and their trees are godlessness and their fruit is deadly poison and their promise is death and the tree of their life they had placed in the midst of paradise. And I shall teach you, plural, what is the mystery of their life, which is the plan which they made together, which is the likeness of their spirit. The root of this, tree, is bitter and its branches are death, its shadow is hate and deception is in its leaves, and its blossom is the ointment of evil, and its fruit is death and desire is its seed, and it sprouts in darkness. The dwelling place of those who taste from it is Hades, and the darkness is their place of rest. But what they call the tree of knowledge of good and evil, which is the epinoia of the light, they stayed in front of it in order that he, Adam, might not look up to his fullness and recognize the nakedness of his shamefulness. But it was I who brought about that they ate. And I said to the Savior, Lord, was it not the serpent that taught Adam to eat? The Savior smiled and said, The serpent taught them to eat from wickedness of begetting, lust, and destruction, that he, Adam, might be useful to him. And he, Adam, knew that he was disobedient to him, the chief archon, due to light of the epinoia which is in him, which made him more correct in his thinking than the chief archon. And, the latter, wanted to bring about the power which he himself had given him. And he brought a forgetfulness over Adam. And I said to the Savior, What is the forgetfulness? And he said, It is not the way Moses wrote, and, you heard. For he said in his first book, he put him to sleep, GN 221. But, it was, in his perception. For also he said through the prophet, I will make their hearts heavy, that they may not pay attention and may not see, is 610. Then the epinoia of the light hid herself in him, Adam. And the chief archon wanted to bring her out of his rib. But the epinoia of the light cannot be grasped. Although darkness pursued her, it did not catch her. And he brought a part of his power out of him. And he made another creature, in the form of a woman, according to the likeness of the epinoia which had appeared to him. And he brought the part which he had taken from the power of the man into the female creature, and not as Moses said, his rib bone. And he, Adam, saw the woman beside him. And in that moment the luminous epinoia appeared, and she lifted the veil which lay over his mind. And he became sober from the drunkenness of darkness. And he recognized his counter-image, and he said, This is indeed bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. Therefore the man will leave his father and his mother, and he will cleave to his wife, 
and they will both be one flesh. For they will send him his consort, and he will leave his father and his mother. Three lines unreadable, and our sister Sophia, is, she who came down in innocence in order to rectify her deficiency. Therefore she was called life, which is the mother of the living, by the foreknowledge of the sovereignty of heaven. And through her they have tasted the perfect knowledge. I appeared in the form of an eagle on the tree of knowledge, which is the epinoia from the foreknowledge of the pure light, that I might teach them and awaken them out of the depth of sleep. For they were both in a fallen state, and they recognized their nakedness. The epinoia appeared to them as a light, she awakened their thinking. And when Yaltabath noticed that they withdrew from him, he cursed his earth. He found the woman as she was preparing herself for her husband. He was lord over her, though he did not know the mystery which had come to pass through the holy decree. And they were afraid to blame him. And he showed his angels his ignorance which is in him. And he cast them out of paradise and he clothed them in gloomy darkness. And the chief archon saw the virgin who stood by Adam, and that the luminous epinoia of life had appeared in her. And Yaltabath was full of ignorance. And when the foreknowledge of the all noticed, it, she sent some and they snatched life out of Eve. And the chief archon seduced her and he begot in her two sons. The first and the second, are, Elohim and Yahweh. Elohim has a bear face and Yahweh has a cat face. The one is righteous but the other is unrighteous. Yahweh is righteous but Elohim is unrighteous. Yahweh he set over the fire and the wind, and Elohim he set over the water and the earth. And these he called with the names Cain and Abel with a view to deceive. Now up to the present day, sexual intercourse continued due to the chief archon. And he planted sexual desire in her who belongs to Adam. And he produced through intercourse the copies of the bodies, and he inspired them with his counterfeit spirit. And the two archons he set over principalities, so that they might rule over the tomb. And when Adam recognized the likeness of his own foreknowledge, he begot the likeness of the Son of Man. He called him Seth, according to the way of the race in the Aeons. Likewise, the mother also sent down her spirit, which is in her likeness and a copy of those who are in the Pleroma, for she will prepare a dwelling place for the Aeons which will come down. And he made them drink water of forgetfulness, from the chief archon, in order that they might not know from where they came. Thus, the seed remained for a while assisting, him, in order that, when the spirit comes forth from the holy aeons, he may raise up and heal him from the deficiency, that the whole pleroma may, again, become holy and faultless. And I said to the Saviour, Lord, will all the souls then be brought safely into the pure light? He answered and said to me, Great things have arisen in your mind, for it is difficult to explain them to others except to those who are from the immovable race. Those on whom the spirit of life will descend and, with whom, he will be with the power, they will be saved and become perfect and be worthy of the greatness and be purified in that place from all wickedness and the involvements in evil. Then they have no other care than the incorruption alone, to which they direct their attention from here on, without anger or envy or jealousy or desire and greed of anything. They are not affected by anything except the state of being in the flesh alone, which they bear while looking expectantly for the time when they will be met by the receivers, of the body. Such then are worthy of the imperishable, eternal life and the calling. For they endure everything and bear up under everything, that they may finish the good fight and inherit eternal life. I said to him, Lord, the souls of those who did not do these works, but, on whom the power and spirit descended, will they be rejected? He answered and said to me, If, the Spirit, descended upon them, they will in any case be saved, and they will change, for the better. For the power will descend on every man, for without it no one can stand. And after they are born, then, when the Spirit of life increases and the power comes and strengthens that soul, no one can lead it astray with works of evil. But those on whom the counterfeit Spirit descends are drawn by him and they go astray. And I said, Lord, where will the souls of these go when they have come out of their flesh? And he smiled and said to me, The soul in which the power will become stronger than the counterfeit spirit, is strong and it flees from evil and, through the intervention of the incorruptible one, it is saved, and it is taken up to the rest of the aeons. And I said, Lord, those, however, who have not known to whom they belong, where will their souls be? And he said to me, In those, 
the despicable spirit has gained strength when they went astray. And he burdens the soul and draws it to the works of evil, and he casts it down into forgetfulness. And after it comes out of the body, it is handed over to the authorities, who came into being through the archon, and they bind it with chains and cast it into prison, and consort with it until it is liberated from the forgetfulness and acquires knowledge. And if thus it becomes perfect, it is saved. And I said, Lord, how can the soul become smaller and return into the nature of its mother or into man? Then he rejoiced when I asked him this, and he said to me, Truly, you are blessed, for you have understood. That soul is made to follow another one, Fem, since the spirit of life is in it. It is saved through him. It is not again cast into another flesh. And I said, Lord, these also who did not know, but have turned away, where will their souls go? Then he said to me, to that place where the angels of poverty go they will be taken, the place where there is no repentance. And they will be kept for the day on which those who have blasphemed the spirit will be tortured, and they will be punished with eternal punishment. And I said, Lord, from where did the counterfeit spirit come? Then he said to me, the mother father, who is rich in mercy, the Holy Spirit in every way, the one who is merciful and who sympathizes with you, plural, i.e., the epinoia of the foreknowledge of light, he raised up the offspring of the perfect race and its thinking and the eternal light of man. When the chief archon realized that they were exalted above him in the height, and they surpass him in thinking, then he wanted to seize their thought, not knowing that they surpassed him in thinking, and that he will not be able to seize them. He made a plan with his authorities, which are his powers, and they committed together adultery with Sophia, and bitter fate was begotten through them, which is the last of the changeable bonds. And it is of a sort that is interchangeable, and it is harder and stronger than she with whom the gods united, and the angels and the demons and all the generations until this day. For from that fate came forth every sin and injustice and blasphemy, and the chain of forgetfulness and ignorance and every severe command, and serious sins and great fears. And thus the whole creation was made blind, in order that they may not know God, who is above all of them. And because of the chain of forgetfulness, their sins were hidden. For they are bound with measures and times and moments, since it, fate, is Lord over everything. And he, the chief archon, repented for everything which had come into being through him. This time he planned to bring a flood upon the work of man. But the greatness of the light of the foreknowledge informed Noah, and he proclaimed, it, to all the offspring which are the sons of men. But those who were strangers to him did not listen to him. It is not as Moses said, they hid themselves in an ark, gn 7-7, but they hid themselves in a place, not only Noah, but also many other people from the immovable race. They went into a place and hid themselves in a luminous cloud. And he, Noah, recognized his authority, and she who belongs to the light was with him having shone on them because he, the chief archon, had brought darkness upon the whole earth. And he made a plan with his powers. He sent his angels to the daughters of men, that they might take some of them for themselves and raise offspring for their enjoyment. And at first they did not succeed. When they had no success, they gathered together again and they made a plan together. They created a counterfeit spirit, who resembles the spirit who had descended, so as to pollute the souls through it. And the angels changed themselves in their likeness into the likeness of their mates, the daughters of men, filling them with the spirit of darkness, which they had mixed for them, and with evil. They brought gold and silver and a gift and copper and iron and metal and all kinds of things. And they steered the people who had followed them into great troubles, by leading them astray with many deceptions. They, the people, became old without having enjoyment. They died, not having found truth and without knowing the God of truth. And thus the whole creation became enslaved forever, from the foundation of the world until now. And they took women and begot children out of the darkness according to the lightness of their spirit. And they closed their hearts, and they hardened themselves through the hardness of the counterfeit spirit until now. I, therefore, the perfect pronoia of the all, changed myself into my seed, for I existed first, going on every road. For I am the richness of the light, I am the remembrance of the pleroma. And I went into the realm of darkness and I endured till I entered the middle of the prison. And the foundations of chaos shook. 
and I hid myself from them because of their wickedness, and they did not recognize me. Again I returned for the second time, and I went about. I came forth from those who belong to the light, which is I, the remembrance of the pronoia. I entered into the midst of darkness and the inside of Hades, since I was seeking, to accomplish, my task. And the foundations of chaos shook, that they might fall down upon those who are in chaos and might destroy them. And again I ran up to my root of light, lest they be destroyed before the time. Still for a third time I went. I am the light which exists in the light, I am the remembrance of the pronoia. That I might enter into the midst of darkness and the inside of Hades. And I filled my face with the light of the completion of their aeon. And I entered into the midst of their prison, which is the prison of the body. And I said, He who hears, let him get up from the deep sleep. And he wept and shed tears. Bitter tears he wiped from himself and he said, Who is it that calls my name, and from where has this hope come to me, while I am in the chains of the prison? And I said, I am the pronoia of the pure light. I am the thinking of the virginal spirit, who raised you up to the honored place. Arise and remember that it is you who hearkened, and follow your root, which is I, the merciful one, and guard yourself against the angels of poverty and the demons of chaos and all those who ensnare you, and beware of the deep sleep and the enclosure of the inside of Hades. And I raised him up, and sealed him in the light of the water with five seals, in order that death might not have power over him from this time on. And behold, now I shall go up to the perfect eon. I have completed everything for you in your hearing. And I have said everything to you that you might write them down and give them secretly to your fellow spirits. For this is the mystery of the immovable race. And the Savior presented these things to him that he might write them down and keep them secure. And he said to him, Cursed be everyone who will exchange these things for a gift or for food or for drink or for clothing or for any other such thing. And these things were presented to him in a mystery, and immediately he disappeared from him. And he went to his fellow disciples and related to them what the Savior had told him. Jesus Christ, Amen.